people who've been diagnosed with age-related macular degeneration may wonder, how far can this condition progress? Could I eventually be totally blind? Age-related macular degeneration typically only affects the center area of the retina. So even if AMD progresses to its final stage, the central 20 to 25% of vision becomes a blank area, but the remaining 75 to 80% of vision is unaffected. People with advanced AMD learn to look away from the blank center area and instead pay attention to other areas of the retina that are not affected by AMD. Normal vision outside the center area of the retina is not as clear. People with final stage AMD are usually unable to recognize faces and often struggle to read bold headline sized print even with their best eyeglasses on. But vision typically, even at the most advanced stage of AMD, is useful to see where a person is going and to locate and identify larger objects in the surrounding environment. People with advanced AMD, even though they may have difficulty accomplishing visual reading tasks, can easily detect a coin as it falls to the floor. Sometimes family and friends have difficulty understanding that a significant vision problem exists because the person doesn't appear to have a vision problem. For people with average vision or whose vision may only be minimally affected by AMD, we can do a simple simulation to help you understand what final stage AMD is like. When we start the simulation, it will last about a minute. I'm going to raise my hand next to my face. I want you to look straight at my hand and not look away from my hand until I say, look straight at my face. Okay, are you ready? I'm raising my hand and I want you to look straight at it. Don't look away from it. Are you looking at my hand? Okay, while you're looking at my hand, try to see what my face looks like. I hope you didn't peek away from my hand when I said to look at my face. That's very easy to do. We just naturally want to use our best vision to see objects as well as possible. So please, be sure right now to look straight at my hand and don't look away. Now, what does my face look like to you? Can you see where my face is? Yeah, I'll bet you can. If you're looking at my hand, my face probably looks quite fuzzy and indistinct, even if you're wearing your best eyeglasses. Okay, I'll put my hand down now so you can look straight at my face. If you want to try this simulation again, look at your own reflection in a mirror and try to see your own face as you look at your raised hand. When you were staring straight at my hand, the image of my face was falling on an area of the retina where fewer nerve cells were spaced farther apart from one another. These nerve cells sent a picture to the brain that was much less distinct than an image sent from the center of the retina, where the nerve cells are the most densely packed together. On a normal retina, from the absolute center of the retina out to about the center 20 to 25% of the entire visual field, nerve cell density progressively decreases. So if a person has AMD and the blank center area becomes larger, print may need to be larger to read it because the vision is fuzzier. The outer 75 to 80 percent of the total visual field has a fairly uniform nerve cell density that allows people to read bold headline size print. And again, this area of the retina typically is not affected by AMD. If you've been diagnosed with AMD, you need to work with your eye care professional as much as possible to keep your AMD from progressing. 
But if you've already noticed difficulty doing daily activities because of AMD, please remember, at Sight Connection, we help people learn ways to adapt to low vision. It can be a big job. There's lots a person can learn about to accomplish activities in the way that's right for that particular person. So if you or someone you know needs assistance, please contact us at Sight Connection.